Hey everyone, it's Mike, I review nootropics, and during this video today, I'm gonna review acetyl L-carnitine, also known as Alcar. This is a very popular nootropic to benefit us in a number of ways with general cognition, memory improvement, anti-aging, and there's even a lot of talk around using this supplement for fat loss and improving your athletic performance. But what's really the truth about Alcar? I've used a number of nootropics over the years and Alcar is one supplement that I'm personally not taking. So I'll let you know why that is. Consider this the whole overview of Alcar. During this video, you're gonna learn what is acetyl L-carnitine. We're gonna address the benefits. How you should take it during the day? Are you better off taking it in a single dose or a split dose? Should you cycle off of it? And what you can do as far as maximizing the absorption of Alcar. Now from my experience in taking this nootropic, it has not been that effective for me, which is why it's not something I'm using on a daily basis. I've tried it in various brands, I've tried various dosages, and one neat use I have of Alcar is specifically when I'm fasting. I find that um, during those periods when I'm practicing intermittent fasting or having a prolonged fasting period, by taking a small amount of Alcar, like 500 milligrams twice per day during the fast, I'm able to have a much better energy level, even at very high doses, like taking two to three grams in one serving. I don't really even get the same focus I would get from taking something like Nupept or the other really popular amino acid, L-tyrosine, which I've discussed in this video over here. This is a really powerful nootropic for focus, energy levels, appetite suppression, and general well-being. However though, there is something to be said about its effects on cognition because three of my favorite nootropic blends all have acetyl L-carnitine in their formula. The first looking here at Qualia Mind, this is one of my favorites because they have about 25 ingredients which have proven benefits around cognition. Another product which I really like, this is Brain Food by Natural Stacks, a really good product. They have uh, 319 milligrams of Alcar along with Alpha GPC. And then the third being this very popular nootropic blend called Cognetics, which does contain 100 milligrams of N-acetyl L-carnitine. What specifically is L-carnitine and what is it responsible for? Think of carnitine like a supplement you would take in order to help mobilize fats because we generally are very good and efficient at utilizing carbohydrates for fuel through the process of burning glucose. But this supplement actually aids in the process of helping you to burn fat. All right, so how do we take acetyl L-carnitine? Here's the way in which I would recommend it. I prefer taking it in a split dose rather than a single dose. So you're better off having it a few times during the day, maybe two to three times per day versus just having it once. I would recommend you take Alcar specifically before on you can say important tasks that you have during the day if you are using it for cognition and as a nootropic. As always though, do assess your tolerance. Start with a very low dose. I would recommend you start off with something like 200, maybe 300 milligrams once per day. See how your body responds to it. As always, make sure that it doesn't interact with anything else you're taking. I wouldn't recommend anyone goes over taking three to four grams during the course of the day. So who Alcar is especially appropriate for is people who are not consuming red meat, maybe vegetarians, and especially people who are not having a lot of dairy in their diet you can see that these people can get away with probably taking a little bit more Alcar than the average individual. Should you take time off of Alcar? Should you cycle off of it? The answer to that question, in my opinion, is yes. What does that mean? It means, will your body build a tolerance to it? And are you better off taking it for some days followed by a period of time which you're not taking it at all? Um, in my opinion, that can happen. Some users do report building a tolerance to Alcar, meaning that what happens is you essentially get used to taking the Alcar and your body needs more of it. What I would recommend is you do something called macro cycling, meaning you taking it for an extended period of time followed by a short duration off. So something like taking two months on, taking it every single day, followed by taking two weeks off, giving yourself that nice reset. Perhaps you can use something else to aid you with your energy levels during that two weeks, something like maybe L-tyrosine, maybe mucunia prurians, which is something else which is very effective for uh, memory, energy levels, alertness. I made a video on that particular nootropic, which I will link right here. You'll probably find that helpful. And then getting back onto it after that two weeks off. And this way you're able to ensure you're getting the most out of it while being able to reap the benefits of it long term. Let's talk about maximizing the absorption of Alcar. There's a few stacks which you can take. First being uh, taking Alcar with alpha lipoic acid. Come to think of it like one of the most powerful antioxidants out there. And it does something very neat. It actually improves your body at breaking down 
food into fuel and makes that whole process a lot more efficient. The second stack, which is very popular, is taking Alcar along with CoQ10, specifically for improving your memory. These two nootropics are especially recommended for people who are looking to use Alcar for its benefits with anti-aging. And then the third stack, and perhaps the one which you can say is more practical for somebody like you and me who's looking to be more efficient, get more done, maybe make more money or improve our grades, would be taking Alcar with choline and paracetam. So the way in which I'm doing that is taking 500 milligrams of Alcar with 200 milligrams of alpha GPC as my choline source and one gram of paracetam. And this dose, if you take it for two to three times during the course of the day, after a couple weeks, you should notice yourself being more sharper, like more sharper during the end of the day and having a much more improved work ethic. Let's take a look at four major benefits. The first would be with respect to its effects on depression and even dementia. Some research has shown that taking Alcar in supplementation form does help to assist dopamine neurons and the use of dopamine in the brain, which naturally is gonna make somebody a little bit more ambitious and more eager to go after their goals. The second benefit, and this is really neat, is that Alcar can help with mild cognitive impairment. So think of anybody like who has maybe experienced a stroke or some sort of damage to their brain, which is thus somewhat compromising their general cognition. Alcar has been shown in studies to be very effective on 1,200 people, showing that it had a significant effect on attention, mental performance, memory, and higher mental functions with subjects who had somewhat of a cognitive impairment. The third known benefit is helping people with chronic fatigue syndrome. What is chronic fatigue syndrome? Think of it like somebody who's too tired than they naturally are supposed to be. They would have a lot of trouble getting to the gym, doing something which requires physical energy, and they can actually have decreased concentration levels as well. So that's where Alcar has actually been shown in research to help a lot of people. And benefit number four, and this one surprised me the most, was how effective Alcar is with erectile dysfunction. There's one study even showing that it helped elder people get erect even more significantly than a little dose of testosterone. In this study, what happened was 120 patients, they were elderly, they were split into three groups. One was taking testosterone, the second was taking um, two forms of carnitine, and the third group was taking placebo. And what was such was that the group that was taking the two grams actually showed that they had better testosterone for erectile dysfunction and they didn't have any of the bad side effects that would come with an enlarged prostate. Think of carnitine like an absolutely essential nutrient that you would never want to burn faster than you're producing it, which is why then people would supplement with it. So how does it help? First with uh, brain energy metabolism, what Alcar does is it helps transport fatty acids into the mitochondria where they're needed for energy metabolism. Second, uh, the neurotransmitters, because Alcar is a necessary ingredient of acetylcholine formation. This boosts memory, mental alertness, and even fluid thought. And then third, it helps with brain optimization. So the antioxidant properties of Alcar provide neuroprotective qualities, it boosts BDNF, brain-derived nootrophic factor, and it promotes cerebral blood circulation. What Alcar is known for is helping you to better utilize fats for fuel. And during that time when you're fasting, you really want to utilize anything possible as fuel and make that whole energy production process as efficient as it can be. And I hope you all enjoyed this video. The way I'm going to end you with is with an insertion of another video I've made on L-tyrosine. I hope you all found this helpful. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Comment below, give the video a like, follow me on social media, and I will look forward to seeing you all next time. Firstly, what is L-tyrosine? It is an amino acid that is found in very large quantities in things like chicken breast, as well as egg whites. However, when taken free form, like on an empty stomach or a few hours when you're fasted, you'll notice some incredible effects that it can do as a nootropic supplement. So it can have some really interesting benefits.